This is Artifacts of Mars. And today we're going to discuss Archerfish and its relationship to intelligent design. Now, some of you are going to say, well, what does this fish have to do with intelligent design? Well, first of all, let me give you a little introduction to the Archerfish. Archerfish is an Asian fish uh, that fires a very powerful stream of water that small prey on a branch, on a leaf, whatnot, fires it out of the water. When the prey falls in the water, the fish swims up and eats it. Right? Sounds pretty good. Well, let's look at all the mutations that would have to occur for this thing to be able to do this. First of all, it has a specialized structure inside its mouth. It can form a tube and it forces its gills shut to force out a bunch of uh, a stream of water to hit prey. So, are you going to tell me that all these mutations just accidentally occurred and this fish accidentally became able to shoot a stream of water from its mouth? That's bad enough to tell me something like that because I'm not going to buy that. Here's the thing. Archerfish in addition to be able to, being able to uh, do this having the structure in its mouth Archerfish is also able to compensate for refraction. See, water refracts light, it bends it. And Archerfish knows how to compensate for that. I guess that, from what I read in this article on National Geographic, Archerfish uh, tends to get right under its prey, so it limits the amount of refraction. If you don't know what I mean about by refraction, just take a pencil and stick it in a bowl of water. And see how it appears to be bent. That's called refraction. See, if the fish didn't compensate for that, then it would miss its target. Because it would be uh, spitting in the wrong direction. Well, this fish is intelligent enough to figure out how to avoid the problems with uh, refraction. And it's looking from underneath the water. Which means somehow this fish learned, I'd like to know from what source, this fish learned to uh, shoot from its mouth this water. And it took down the... Uh, takes down the prey, it's learned to aim, it's learned to compensate for uh, refraction. That shows intelligence right there. There isn't any question. Archerfish was programmed by someone or something to know how to do all this. Uh, they're pretty accurate. They're like, I guess I can uh, shoot a bug out of a tree, uh, you know, from at least several feet away. So article says it changes its shape, the shape of its mouth to form a tube. See, this is you know, pretty much a unique hunting strategy. So this fish understands the realm that it's in. And it understands the realm that we're in, or rather, the bug that's in. And it knows how to fire at 
this bug from outside the realm. That shows intelligence. You gonna explain to me how that could have evolved by accident? Just accidentally learned to form its mouth and then into a tube and then because it accidentally uh, learned to form its mouth into a tube it sat there and practiced and aimed at bugs until it got it right. Give me a break. Alright? No way, no chance, no how. All I'm saying is someone help things along. I'm not a big Bible. I'm not a Bible thumper. I'm not going to sit here and tell you, uh, go pray to Jesus or you're going to burn in hell. I'm not like that. <coughs> Sorry about that. So that's Archer Fish. A clear, uh, clearly a fish that was designed with a specialized ability that a uh, few other critters have, you know, very few aquatic critters are able to hunt in our uh, realm. This fish was created to do this. It was taught to do this. It's been programmed with information. Uh, if you want to go on YouTube, um, World's Deadliest Fish, Fish Shoots Prey with Water. Kind of a cool video to watch. This thing was designed. It's not an accident. Don't expect me to believe that a series of accidents led to this. Give me a break. I will never accept that something like this comes in a series of accidents. If all I did was swim after a bug on the surface of the water, like other fish do, that would be one thing. My archer fish knows what to do, knows how to get its meal, and it hunts it from its realm and hunts in our realm. It hunts from its realm and gets its prey from our realm. Now you might see fish jumping out of water for bugs and things. Fine. This one takes it a step further. This will not be the last video. My time is very limited, but Archer fish was designed by someone. No question about it. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.